happy with myself through my headphones. Yes, man. Like, I feel real good about this. Pay attention because you are now listening to Permission to Speak Freely. 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 It's Permission to Speak Freely podcast, episode 84. You. Yeah. Press 100 now. I know the name already. <laughs> Press I know the 100. Name already. That's it right there, bro. Oh. That's it, man. Yeah. We got some newly minted Chief Selects in the mess, walking around confused. Don't know what the hell going on. Don't know they head from their shoulders, they right from they left. You know, already at different stages of their season. Some people might be getting uniforms. Some people might not be doing anything yet. Hey, I just want to say this. Congrats, congrats, congrats. I'm Damo. I'm here with Damon. And we have a special guest, Aaron Paul. Needs no introduction. Man, senior chief, Aaron Paul. <laughs> Needs no introduction. What's going on, fam? Yeah. Second, second time guest on the pod. The, the, the audio sounds a whole lot more crispy than <laughs> yeah, the last time. Man. I know some of our some of our listeners probably like, hey, we know this Aaron Paul guy from the choppy episode. It ain't choppy this time. I'll tell Let's you that. Go. Man, you know what I'm saying? Man. We might have some first time listeners. We might have some first time listeners. We might have some last time listeners. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Hey, congrats to the Chief Selects. Congrats to the Chief Selects. Um, six weeks, six weeks of learning, six weeks of lessons, six weeks of however you want those six weeks to go. I definitely want to start off by congratulating y'all. Yeah, man. Most definitely, man. Congratulations, man. It was it was a big numbers this year, man. The numbers was a little bit different, you know. They was kind of well from what I saw, looked like they was a little bit bigger anyway. Uh, but yeah, man, congratulations to everybody, man. Like this is a big deal. This is a milestone. This is something that you're gonna look back in your life and be like, wow, I did that, you know. So congratulations, man. Yeah, man. Super big. Like I'm I'm excited, bro. It's a great time of year. Like I've been getting phone calls from people and not like just Chief Selects, Chiefs. Like Chiefs, you know, it's just a time of year people just start remembering shit. You know what I mean? So I've been getting phone calls from Chiefs, mad people. We might have a select in common or something like that. So it's a great time. Hey, for anybody that's watching on YouTube, this is my first time recording in the barracks. I'm going to be straight with y'all. I got a Navy t-shirt on. I got a Navy hat on. I'm in the barracks. We about to talk about some Navy shit. This is about to be the most Navy that this Navy podcast has ever been. So... Welcome again to Permission to Speak Freely, we talk, man. Hey, Let's get it. Hey, hey, can we talk a little bit about that light in the back, though? You got a little red light. What's going on with that in the background back there? Oh, uh, you know how I get down, man. You know how I switch the lights and the colors. I, everybody can't do the bookshelf wallpaper like you. <laughs> Did you just call me out? Did you hear this shit, Aaron? Did he just call me yeah, out? Yeah, he, he got him loaded, oh, man. My God, he got him loaded. Man. Everybody can't do the bookshelf Dumbo wallpaper. Dumbo cannot dog, like, help you know himself, I'm bro. I'm in the bags. Listen, I'm in the bags. I can't. I ain't go to Michael's. You know what I'm saying? Boy, I can't he cannot that. help himself. Go to Joe. Man, the books in the back, man. What's good? What is called, Joanne? It's called, I ain't go to Joanne, man. Like, I can't, I can't Boy, do it, I man. tell you, man. <laughs> you guys, I hope you guys notice this hey. shit, man. Dumbo cannot let me make it. But hey, back to the pod, man. It's going to be a great episode, man. Hey, first, hey, man, I've been on social media, man, and I've been looking and I've been seeing all the different stuff. Uh, people have been posting, people did non selects, the people who got selected. So it's been a lot going on. And from me, man, I know we're going to talk about, because we got, hey, Audience, we got two people that have been to the board on the pod. Yeah, this year. This year. We're going to talk about it. We're going to get into it. But I want, I got to, something real quick though, man. Is this year the first, now we always see non-selects, you know, they they they, they talk and they say this and they, they upset a little bit. But man, this year, man, I've been seeing some wild posts this year, like, like, yeah. the, like more than ever, man, like. Um, and we're gonna get into some of that, but I just wanted to throw that out there, man. This shit been kind of crazy with the with the with for non selects though. Where are you seeing it at? On, on on Facebook, on Instagram. You guys ain't seeing it. Oh, it's just me? I don't know. Uh, I've seen I, it. I, I'm, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. Especially after yesterday when those names came out. Yeah, I definitely <laughs> saw a couple that got forwarded yeah. to me. So okay. That's great. But yeah, man. So um man, let's get into it, man. Let's go. Yeah, I, I guess before we before we do get into like the uh yeah yeah for the listeners, I'm gonna keep y'all waiting for a little bit. You know, we gonna get all into it. We gonna get into that, but I'm gonna keep y'all waiting for a little bit. You know, because before we get into that, I do want to say this: there was a, like a time when I was trying to figure out what to say to somebody who didn't select, right? Because that's what we kind of talking about, you know. And the thing is, you could say whatever you want to say. 
my my thing is like this: we take an action if you didn't select. You know what I mean? I'm gonna let you have whatever you need a day or two, whatever you need, you need that. That's the emotional thing. You know, I'm going to let you do that. You know, I have whatever conversation I have with you, let you do your thing. And then my next thing and your next thing is let's come up with an action plan and make next year better than, you know, last year and coming off all the information that I got from sitting in the board. It's about action. You know what I'm saying? We, you already know, everybody know if they listen, I'm not the greatest with, you know, uh, empathetic conversation. You know what I mean? Like, even if I'm empathetic, I ain't the greatest with empathetic conversation. So I'm going to let you get it off, let you do whatever you need to do um, to, to relieve your stress. I know some people go eat donuts. Some people go places and cry. Some people might even drink or whatever they do. But when, when you come back and we, it's time to get it, let's go. Let's put this action plan together and let's work toward it right now. That's what I do when people don't select. What about y'all? Uh, for me, I don't like going through the motions of like a CDB. It's just like talking about, hey, mm-hmm. man, you were a competitor. You put your best foot forward. And we kind of like resetting it. You know, there's some rest on it. It's like, let's see what you got to do next. You know, the sustained superior performance yeah. kind of rings different to me now coming from the board. The same way with me, Dumbo and Aaron. I'm kind of like, I, I kind of don't like the whole process, the CDB and all that, man. But um, I kind of let them, I, I want people to vent, though. You know what I mean? I want somebody to yeah. get it out. And let's talk about it, right? Um, but I'm also not the same person that's going to tell you you're the greatest in the world if you're not the greatest in the world. You know what I mean? I, I, I don't, yeah. I don't do that because I feel like I'm pumping you up for no reason. But it's 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 happening out mm-hmm. there. It's happening all the time, man. So um, with that, but I'm not I'm not crushing your dreams when I say that, though. You know what I mean? What I'm saying is we can get better. At the end of the day, that's what yeah. it's about. It's like it's like we can get better. If you don't make it, what's next? And I'm I'm reading that too. I'm reading you, your reactions to it. Like cause some people don't even like when you because like they don't want to hear this same thing we talk about all the time, right? The same thing is like, sorry, man, you didn't make it. Um, I take a look at your record. No, I already took a look at your record. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I'm not mm-hmm. I'm not gonna follow that same path. I'm, I want to give you some real stuff, right? And then then on top of that, the people who work with me, they know I'm going to give them the real stuff too, though. You know what I mean? They know I'm not going to try to sugarcoat it. I'm not trying to do this. I'm going to tell you what's real. If you make it, you make it. Uh, if you don't, like Dumbo said, man, we got to come up with a plan because I want everybody to exceed, yeah. though. You know what I mean? We got to be able to exceed. We got to be able to, to get to that point. And we know how to get there. We the blueprint. We know how to get there. So especially in our rating too. So we know how to get there. Let's do the blueprint. Let's get there. Yeah, man. And I, I want to be clear. I, I let people vent too. I just don't talk when they do it. Yeah, you know, yeah. I normally shut the hell up because I don't know if I always got the best words to offer. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so let's get right into it, though. I did sit the board this year and I was at phase one. Um, Aaron, you were at phase two, right? You were at phase two of the board? Yeah, I was phase two, man. I missed all the uh, excitement you had during your time over there. I was in phase two. Yeah, so being at being at phase one, a lot of shit happened, right? So I'm going to get into it. So I, I'll start off with some of the things that happened at phase one just because I was there and um, Aaron wasn't. So first off, Millington made me crispy. You know, if anybody been watching the pod, it's the time before Millington and the time after Millington. Millington was hot as, it was hot as hell. I'm going to try to curse a little less. We oh, might have some more sophisticated oh, okay. listeners listen to this episode. Yeah, I can't be like Damon on this episode. I got to like kind of keep it, keep it PG, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, um, so, but I'm brown skinned now. I left, I left like a light caramel, like a salted caramel or whatever. Now, now I'm like salted a, caramel. I'm like a mocha color. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like uh, I'm a little brown and it ain't going away, I guess. You know what I'm saying? So I can't wait till the winter come. You know what I'm saying? So I could get my little my little complexion back. I like my little complexion. And I'm trying to be like as close to Aaron complexion as possible. No. You know what I'm saying? Man. I'm trying to get the reverse, man. I'm sick and tired <laughs> light skin jokes, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. I ain't got none, Aaron. I ain't got none. Oh, you got some loaded, bro. I know you got some. <laughs> Steph Curry, John Stark, oh, something. Uh, <laughs> man, he, be, he, be he be putting it together. He be putting it together. So um, let's go back. I found out I was selected around the same time, like, well, selected to be a board member around the same time that I was leaving my command. Like, damn, like at the same exact time. So I had to get in touch with my new, I wanted to get in touch with my new command because I didn't route anything through them and like let them know like, hey, 
as soon as I get there, I have to leave because um, I got selected to sit the board and they had an underway. So it's like I couldn't even really hang around. So that was a weird thing, too. You know, it, it was either going to affect like my leave while I was uh, home before I train. It was like I had an option like, yo, do you want to go transfer now and let them know what's going on and then take leave? Or do you just want to go transfer and then take leave? I didn't know what the command was going to do, but my chief of staff talked to the uh, commanding officer and they was good with everything. So it's pretty much a check in um, June 15th and then uh, take leave. And then they got underway. And when they got underway, I went to Millington. Right. So that's how that that's how that works. So it, it was just a crazy thing because you got to try to keep everything secret. Like you can't tell too many people. But then I'm going through this whole thing where it's like I need to get funding and stuff like that. So at one point, my last command, like that's who I went into DTS through. And then it was like the next command when it was time to cash out. So it was just this whole weird kind of um, thing when it came to making sure that I was good to go with DTS and stuff like that. So but let's get straight to it. I get there on a Sunday, right? So I get there on a Sunday. I got some notes. I don't even know if I'm going to read this shit though. But I get there on a Sunday. I left Sunday morning. Shuttle services, uh, they were legit. They come to the airport around like every two and a half hours. So when I started writing these notes, I was writing these notes uh, intentionally for somebody that would be sitting the board, yeah. right? And then shit happened. Like it was a blackout. <laughs> like, it, like it got crazy, you know? So like a lot of things changed. Like I got tired of... It, it was like the dude from Avatar, like like Jake Sully, like 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 the diary. I just got tired of just writing like, "Hey, day three, <laughs> I'm here by myself in a hotel." It's crazy, you know. But um, but the shuttle service is cool. Uh, shuttle came around like every two and a half hours. The car ride was about about well, that shuttle ride was about forty minutes. Small shuttle, so some people came in a shuttle. Some people came, um, and they had rental r- rental cars, and then some people drove govies. It just all dependent on how you got around. Um, it's not much to see on the road, you know. Uh, of course, what I was looking for was barbecue, right? So for the listeners, um, what y'all know is that I was doing a pescatarian diet, right? Y'all know that, you know, y'all been following up. But when you go to Tennessee, <laughs> that pescatarian <laughs> shit go out the That's window. Right. You know what I mean? That I was, was getting barbecue. When in Rome, you do as the Romans do. <laughs> when in Memphis, <laughs> you know, you, you you make it happen. You know what I'm saying? But the thing was, my goal was to just, on, like, Sunday was supposed to be our only day off. So that was like the only day I was going to really hit the barbecue like it wasn't the other day. Now the story gets bad because Zaxby's is involved. There's some other stuff uh, that happens too. So I got in around like uh, 13, 11.30. I got in around like 11.30. Um, the maitre d' at the hotel was helpful getting us in. It was around six of us that I, I took so so many notes. It don't make no <laughs> sense, man. Uh, so so let's so they said if like they wasn't about to let us check in to like three. So we had to convince them to let us check into these rooms or whatever, you know. And, and my first note was like, if that's the case, then we need to establish like a control for early arri- arrivals that didn't drive a car because he was like, hey, you can't come in. You can't check into your room. But we wound up convincing them that it was cool. The room was cool, but um, I didn't have my memory card, so we couldn't really record the pod. My recommendation is to get, I said, get a dresser. Um, this for like, oh, my recommendation for the uh, hotel is get dressers for people that like unpack. Like, So when I go to hotels, I unpack or whatever. It's funny. I know everybody like, yo, you need to get to the board or whatever like that. But like, I'm talking about people that's checking into this hotel. The Wi-Fi is... All right, look, fuck these notes. So the Wi-Fi sucked. Right, Aaron? Can 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 The Wi-Fi yeah, is garbage. It, it, was, it was trash for my phone, but my laptop, it was kind of steady, but it would like reboot every 30 minutes. Yeah, so y'all couldn't get the pod because of that. Um, there's no shelves in there. and It's carpet in the rooms or whatever like that. It's just, this the gateway in, man. So whatever you expect from the gateway in, that's what you're going to get from the gateway in. All right. So I'm near. I'm getting a lay of the land. I'm, you know, taking a little tour. I'm walking around the base. I don't got no car, so I walk around the base, man. It's hot as shit. I'm walking around the base. I'm stopping at the next. Uh, of course, I stop at the package store. I give me a little something to have, you know, on the nights. You know, I take a little sip. Um, and then I go to the commissary. All this walking, right? I'm sweating. I'm already three shades darker, right? The first day is the day that I did it for. And it's humid as hell, like, so right? I'm already three shades it's humid as hell. It's humid yeah. as hell, bro. I'm sweating. Shirt sticking to me and everything. I get back to the room. I'm chilling. I'm, I, I got my uniform laid out. I'm ready. Mind you, it's Sunday. We start Monday. 
I'm ready to go. I'm ready for the world. Um, then I decide, why don't I get some food, right? So then I'm like, but this would be a little cheat situation, right? So I go out to get food and it's drizzling a little bit. I'm like, damn, it's drizzling a little bit. And like two seconds later, it ain't drizzling though, boy. It's full fucking like crazy coming down. The the uh, Uber Eats dude or whatever, or the door, it was Uber Eats. The Uber Eats dude, he's calling me because he like, yo, I got to get out of this. It's a storm, bro. Like full flag. <laughs> like I might put up pictures on the... I might put up pictures on the pot. Like, it's like a, like a damn hurricane or something, bro. Like, I'm in, and I'm running to get fucking uh, Zaxby's, man. Shirt is wet as hell. He like, hey, like, hurry up, man. Like, so he outside the gate. I, I grabbed the food and I'm like, man, I hope this bag and everything don't get destroyed by the time I get to the roof. So now I'm running back to the, the gateway in and sweet. Somebody pull over like, hey, you need some help? I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. I got this. You know what I'm saying? So I get I get back in the gateway in and sweet. And by the time I got back into the uh, NGIS, the power was out. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, you know, it's, it's power being out. It's like any other any other time power out, I'm like, man, this shit is going to pass. We'd be good to go. Couple hours, done. Yo, man. So I, I goes to sleep, right? I, I, eventually, I dry <laughs> my clothes wet. Like my shoe, I, the shoes that I wore to go get the Zaxby's, uh, I don't have them anymore, right? Like I got rid of them. I had to get some new shoes like the next day um, for another reason. But my shoes, is everything is done. I, I, I dry off. I take a nap. I wake up. Light's still out. I would do more to show y'all this, but my phone about to die, but see this bullshit, man? Bad, I was already in it at some point. You see this bullshit? Look, these are light switches. No power. No power. No power. Bathroom. That's my clothes. It's hanging up on the shower because I got caught up in the storm. No power. Light switches. Here's the light switch. No power. No power. Power outage. Day one. Now it's like 11, 12 or whatever. And I'm like, what the hell? So now I got to figure out. I call my wife. I got to know. Remember the, the service suck in the room. So I got I go outside the room. I got to call my wife. It's people starting to like be out there. Um, A little bit later, it's people starting to be out there. I get in that in a second. But, I, you know, I go I, I go call my wife and then I'm like, I got to use my laptop to charge my cell phone because my laptop is my power hub. There's no fucking power nowhere. So I use my laptop to charge my cell phone so I could have a phone, so I could be able to use a phone or whatever like that. And then the next morning, I go to sleep, whatever. I wake up early, so I caught the warm shower. You know what I'm saying? Like A couple of people had to catch that cold one. I wake up early. I, I still got that residual. You know what I'm saying? So I hit the residual up. I go outside now. It's about 5 o'clock in the morning. Just before 5, it's still blacked out out here. I'm trying to see what the extent of it is on base because I'm trying to go to the gym. But as of right now, still blacked out. Now, from... From what I believe is you really shouldn't be talking to too many people before you swear in, right? Because people worried about collusion and stuff like that. But at this point, it's a blackout. Ain't nobody really worried about collusion. People worried about like their well-being or whatever like that. So now it's the morning. It's the Navy. It's like seven o'clock. Everybody up. You know what I mean? It it ain't no power. It's no hot water. It's seven o'clock. Everybody up. People, bro, the, the, the smoke deck, that's a religion. The smoke deck in the military, and y'all can jump in whenever, man. I don't want to sound like I'm going solo with this shit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But the smoke deck in the military is a religion, bro. That shit filled up so fast. Like, that's like, that was the hub. You know what I mean? Like, everything comes and goes out of the smoke deck. You know, that's like where the, the democracy, like, you know, Mad Max, <laughs> like, that's where everything kind of happens at. The, the, the smoke deck, that's where the democracy hey, yeah, And that's in. facts, bro. So, because, hey, I didn't went to the smoke deck and I don't even smoke. I just go out there, yeah, bro. get some gossip, see what's going on, off yeah. to the side. Yeah, listen. I'm trying to go there and get the post. <laughs> yeah. Just get the yeah. post. Yeah. If you want to know what's going on, you got to hit that smoke. Yeah, That's where everybody at. So we had the recorders for the, for the board were our sponsors. So they was the only people we really supposed to talk to. You know, but now we talking about well-being and things like that. So... um. It's seven, it's eight, it's nine. Time keep going by. By like 1,300 the next day, uh, that Monday, because um, remember, we still thinking we about to sit the board 
on that Monday. You know, so time going past and we like, eventually we're going to have to put our khakis on and sit the yeah. board. Eventually we found out, no, you're going to have to go check into a hotel. You're going to have to go check into um, some hotel out in town and nowhere near Millington because the power is out all over. I went for a run in the morning. Um, like but when everybody was confused, I went for a run in the morning and trees are down. Uh, the air for like your car tires and everything is like just broke down. It's all messed up. It looked like it really looks like a tornado, you know, went through there or whatever. No power anywhere. Um, How humid was it when you was running? Bro, it was humid, bro. It was, I did five <laughs> miles too. I did a five mile run. It was humid. You ain't feel humid. like a weight on your body when you was running because like how thick the air is? Like, the soles came off my sneaker, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? The sole ripped off my sneaker. And that's what I meant by I had to get a, a new pair of sneakers. That was the day. And I was running. Oh, <laughs> uh, shit, yeah. I was running the water out my sneakers, man. <laughs> like, yeah. You know, because I, I had I had got the, the Zaxby's the day before. So I was running the water. I was running the water out of the damn sneaks. That's what I was doing. So they was like squishy for like the first like half a mile. And then they dried out because it was hot. Right? So... The gym hours were trash too. I found that out day one, but I, it's, it's a lot of notes that I, at like six. Yeah, it's like we not even getting, we not even supposed to get out of here till like seventeen hundred. How the fuck? The gym only open till six. Like it that. So if you go in there to sit the board, be ready to run outside, work out in your room because those gym hours are horrible. They they said they was extended it to twenty hundred when y'all came, Aaron. I think um, they, did. they did. Yeah, they said they was going to extend did. it, but they was like, yeah, we're extending it for the board when the board members come. And I'm like, I'm a board member. I'm here right now. Like, what's up? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, what you mean? You know what I'm saying? So, so the, yeah, so if you work out, the gym hours suck. If you need Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi is trash. Uh, it's breakfast in the morning. Everybody was eating the breakfast. I'm not going to complain about the breakfast. It was the regular cereal, yogurt, bananas. I, I'm going to complain about it. Yeah, I'm sure it wasn't. It wasn't a delicacy. It wasn't Gordon Ramsay. You know what I mean? It I, was, I don't want sausage gravy every day, man. <laughs> I never again would I want biscuits and gravy. Never again. Y'all had biscuits and gravy every day. Y'all ain't had like the Gatorade and the the milk and the bro, bananas. They had it for the board like members, we bro. They didn't that. think you was a board member. That was for the board members. Nah, 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 it was out there. Stuff. You come out there, and the lady, she was nice, but every day she was out there humming, dropping a fresh pound of, or like whatever you call it, a spatch of biscuit, the white yeah. gravy, yeah. sausage yeah. gravy, yeah. every day. All right, y'all. I was trying to get a breakfast grace, man. You know what I mean? But Aaron is right. The breakfast is horrible. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying not to be a... I'm trying to be so negative, man. The breakfast wasn't good, y'all. You know? I'm was, seeing report, but, right? Yeah, but I, I but I was getting... Like me, like, you know, man, you, sometimes you got to make the best of what you got. You know, two boiled eggs in the morning for me, a cranberry juice and a, a apple juice, a water or whatever. That's it. Uh, stockpile your run with Gatorades and stuff like that. But... Back to it. So we all like now it's to a point where we have to communicate with each other because we got to come up with a plan and report this plan back to whoever is in the ether that's getting all the information about what we got going on. So the so everybody got this plan and then it started to be things with these vans. And then <laughs> and then I'm hearing people like this. If this got anything to do with DTS, I ain't fucking with it. You know what I mean? <laughs> like now you, we got some of the Navy's best and brightest leaders there. That's not getting down with DTS. DTS, y'all need to do better. do better. <laughs> this is a this is a na a natural emergency. And people who not trying to fuck with DTS, they they, they know they're gonna have trouble on the back end. You know what I mean? Like it's people like y'all must stay with family. Like I, I'm not dealing with DTS at all. I'll pay for this out of my pocket. You know what I mean? So everybody's I'm um, scrambling trying to figure out what to do. Yo, these dudes started looking at hotels. These dudes started looking at hotels, you know. And when you when you with Navy people, well, like, like you know me, I'm a little bougie. So, and when I'm with Navy <laughs> people, I try to act. I'm like, I try to act like I'm a little bit more down to earth, man. You know, because I don't want them to see like how bougie I. They was looking at hotels. Them chase was like eighty nine dollars a night, man. I couldn't do it. I was like, you know, they was like, they was like, what's the head count? They was like, we got like twelve. I was like, no, y'all got eleven. <laughs> like, like y'all got eleven. <laughs> I was, like, <laughs> oh, yeah, I was like, I found, I was like, I found a spot. You know what I'm saying? Then they start thinking about the van. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna just Uber there, y'all. I'm out. I'm going. Yeah, you know what I mean. I left, yo. So I had, I had got my own room downtown Memphis. So 
mind you, this is day supposed to be day one of the board. And I get my own room downtown Memphis. I wound up, somebody wound up driving me. It, yo, bro, I was going to walk off base uh, from, from the uh, gateway in his uh, suite to the only gate that was opening. Open. That's like a mile and a half walk, whatever. I was going to walk off base. Somebody was kind enough to give me a ride. They drove me to the hospital. I caught another uh, lift to the, um, I caught another lift to the hotel. However, the traffic lights not working anywhere either. Like this really, this shit was crazy. Like the traffic lights wasn't working. So it was, the traffic was horrible. My Lyft driver was mad. He was like, man, like, and the gas stations wasn't working anywhere. Here's, I'm going to tell you, like, as soon as I got in a lift, he's like, hey, look, bro, I'm going to tell you straight up. I got to go get gas. I got to <laughs> do this, that. Here's, I hope you all got no issues. I was like, I'm good, bro. As long as we get, you know, as long as we get to where I'm at. Kind and then the car ride, <laughs> in the car ride, that's when I found out that everybody from Memphis, Memphis wasn't rocking with Yo Gotti like I thought. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know? But so we, yeah, I ain't know that. So I get downtown and now it's like just, it's honestly downtown. I don't want to belabor the story for too long, but um, we, we thought we were going to go back to um, doing a board like the next day or the next day and a half. It wound up being four days. So we like, we wound up starting on Friday. We wound up starting the board on Friday. So between Monday and Friday, I'm exploring downtown Memphis, going to eat at places that I've uh, been at before and trying out new places. So I went to Big Bill's Barbecue. Good. I went to um, Central Barbecue again. Central Barbecue was good again. Um, I went to Payne's Barbecue Payne's Barbecue, they had the pulled pork sandwich. That joint was good, but Payne's is kind of like in the hood area or whatever. And just know that when you go, right? Just know that, be ready for it. I'm, I'm from that kind of area, so I wasn't too worried about it, but I wish I would have known beforehand so I could be prepared, you know? But the food was good. It's a limited menu, but Payne's supposed to be number one in the city. Um, Central is still my favorite uh, barbecue place. Um, so that's kind of like my food stuff uh, that I had going on. I did a lot of walking. I did a lot of catching lifts. I'm kind of like a nomad, man. I'm going to just go get to it on my own, man. I don't need no friends. Yeah. I ain't trying to make friends. I ain't, I ain't doing I I'm doing friends. my own thing. Yeah, I was doing my own thing, yo. Um, so is it anything else noteworthy from... Oh, I got pranked. I got like, like YouTube prank, like the pranker people like on YouTube. I got pranked, man. They did this whole, uh, y'all go like look it up, but it was like a Taliban like prank or whatever. They got me with that joint. I'm walking down the street, man, eating a, a, a rib, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I, went, I went to, uh, I went to, uh, Bill Street. So I've been to Bill Street a lot of times, but I went to Bill Street at night. Bill Street at night was different. That was, that was Memphis, Memphis. Like they was out there. They had the cars, the bikes, everything was out there. So, so I go to Bill Street, man. And when I'm coming back from Bill Street, Man, I got my, I don't even got nothing on. I had like my t-shirt on from being at the hotel. And I guess they was trying to prank somebody because the prank is to get you to run or whatever. And I guess they wanted to see me spill my, uh, spill my rib drink, you know, but you know, I've been doing pescatarian. I wasn't about to spill no rib. You know what I, mean? I had that rib right with me dangling in the street. You know, I took off. I can't lie. I took off. I had that rib dangling in the street. Then I looked back. I was mad. I was like, Did these dudes just prank me, man. So yeah, so I got pranked. Um, and then I, I went back. I ain't, I've been looking for the prank on, on video. I haven't found it yet. Um, and then so and then I was able to go to the YMCA. They let me work out for free at the gym at the YMCA. And then I went to different. I went to a Planet Fitness and worked out. So I went to different gyms. I worked out. I was still doing all that stuff. And then um, day one, day one happened. Um, so day one of the boards happened. I'm going to shut up for a second. And I want to hear a little bit about Aaron's uh, day one of the boards. How was your day one, man? You mean from travel or just the day one? Yeah, day one. Like when, because I mean, I'm assuming like you didn't have a blackout, you didn't get pranked. Like you pretty much like your travel and your first couple of days wasn't well, as eventful well, as mine, right? Well, it wasn't eventful, but I just want to say like it's secret. But then, so say for me, like my admin knows a civilian. She's been there for like ten years. Yeah. So I'm kind of logging my travel, getting stuff ready. She kind of looking at me, and she's like, oh, "Okay." So she kind of honored the process, but she knew where I was going, but she didn't say it. Yeah. She saw Millington. She's like, okay, I know what time it is. She kind of kept it quiet. So my day one, it was more like relief. It was like, hey, we got this. We got this. This is here. We don't have this. We don't know. No ETA for um, 
to get this back up. We saw it a day late. So it was more like a sense of relief. We got this and we don't have this and we don't have this. Yeah. That was were like the main vibe. Were y'all impacted at all from us, like from <clears throat> the blackout or y'all were good to go? Actually, y'all, y'all took the hit for us, man. So it was like <laughs> more accommodating because, um, you know, y'all kind of had so much to work through the staff and you all. It was like, we just kind of happy y'all even here to get yeah. here for the travel. There's a lot of rework with all the um, booking and changing travel dates and all that. Yeah. So, yeah. So we were supposed to work from like seven, from like zero seven, I want to say in the morning until about like 17 or something. But yeah, they, since they we, gave us a full clip of that. It was that's non, what y'all it was had. Se- y'all had seven to 17? 7.30, like 19.30, okay. 1900, 19.30. So 7 and 19. Yeah, yeah. So that's what we're supposed to work, I think, 7 and 19. I forgot we're supposed to work. I think it was 7 and 19. But since we lost four days, our days were longer. Like we had longer days or whatever like that, right? Um, so uh, phase one, so things finally look legit, right? We, 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 we got our khakis on, we in the vans, and we go into the building. So things finally look legit. We go in the building. I felt like a double O agent. They gave me, they gave us packages. You know what I'm saying? They sit you down, they give you these packages. You know what I mean? Give the packages the swipe got. swipe card and all that. Yeah, they give you the swipe card, the packages. You can sit in the conference room or whatever like that. And it's, it's the end brief. Um, so they told us we were going through 8,818 records, uh, 43 subsets. Subsets are rates for anybody that doesn't know that. And then uh, they gave us our oath, right? So we, we kind of swore in. We broke off in three panels. Panel, uh, a, uh, A, uh, A, B, and C, or whatever like that, or was it one, two, and three? I think it was one, two, and three, one A, uh, B, and C, and then two A, B, and C, something like that. Um, no cell phones and board spaces, so you can't. It's like a whole. As soon as you walk in this area, you got to drop off your. Uh, you, you, so first, you go in, you put a pin number in because it's a lock. It's a lock uh, access area, and then you drop off your cell phone in this. Uh, like in the very beginning, you can't take your cell phone out um, anymore after that. Another thing about the gateway is Netflix is the only channel on the damn TV. Did right? yours stick or you had to keep putting it back in? It was trash. Every time I had to re- like act like I was setting up Netflix again an- another time or whatever Same like thing that. Same YouTube it, for me. Yeah, it, it, it was horrible. You know what I mean? It, it, it was super, super trash. Um, but yeah, so then we go in and then we... Um, we pretty much go in a room and we kind of... You kind of get started, man. Uh, they They... You, you meet your SBSO um, and that's like the civilian that's telling you about uh, how to use all the equipment. You know what I mean? So you get, you get put on, you get put into a computer and like a cubicle um, and you, you in arms reach and like, you could like turn around and ask people questions and stuff like that. So, um, and they tell you how to use everything. So you get the, um, they throw what they throw the PSR up there and they throw the evals up there. Hey, hey, so before we get into it, look, so I, I'm going to kind of talk about what we can and can't discuss. So we could discuss that each record receives an initial review. Uh, the entire record is available for review. Every record is reviewed in a tank. Um, the ESR and the PSR are displayed in a tank. Um, this is what we can't discuss, right? We can't discuss the liberations. We can't discuss items that we actually saw. We can't discuss proceedings. We can't discuss discussions. I don't know what that means, but we can't discuss that. <laughs> and we can't discuss recommendations, right? We can't discuss uh, recommendations. They just things that we cannot discuss. So we, but we can talk about the process. Um, so again, ESR, PSR, right? So, th- so they show us um, how to use um, the, 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 the computer. And essentially, it's a... Uh, you get the ESR and the PSR and you get all the evals, uh, all of all the applicable field codes and stuff like that, right? And um, you pretty much pull in, like if I'm the person that's great in this package, I'm pulling all the information from uh, the, like all like the information that stands out onto that ESR and PSR. It's like an app that you like type stuff in, you make notes of what like you got out of those evals, right? Because the board don't see the evals. The board only see the, the 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 ESR and the PSR, so they see like all your like where you fell out with the summary group. They see all that stuff, but they don't see the write ups. And then like when you brief the board, right? So like because it's two things you have to write 
on that uh, PSR, ESR, on, on that. You got to write the letter to the board enclosures. You have to put that on there, right? So if somebody submit a letter to the board, the letter to the board has to be briefed. Um, so for instance, if somebody put like 22 items on a letter to the board, like you could say, hey, letter to the board is as listed. And then like the people that's, when you go into the tank, the people that's in the tank and looking at that, they could just look at what was listed on the letter to the board or whatever like that. Yep. Um, so you have to put that there and you have to put the fill code 38 there. Hey, quick right? question. And hey, then when you- not, Hey, so is that better saying the as listed or are you going in there and, and actually going through all of it? Do it make a difference? Bro, people, well, people be submitting fucking three letters to the board with 10 enclosures a piece. You know, yeah, you the, don't uh, got that much time to breathe. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's, I kind of feel, well, first we backtrack that, that video of board life that's on YouTube, for my Navy HR. Yeah. Like that, that video is on point to me. Like yeah. they, no one's lying to you. Everything you just said is exactly as they listed it on those two videos. So everything yeah. that my Navy HR put out and your chief's been telling you, no one's lying to you. There are no secrets. The playbook is right there. Yeah, it's spot on. It's, it's definitely spot on. But yeah, so people submitting letters to the board, bro. <laughs> it's a lot of shit. These letters to the board. I know Aaron probably sees her. We just see we people, tally, some people man. submit well, four letters. Some people submit four letters to the board. You know what I mean? Well, With the, like, the ESBB cast just want to make sure like they get everything in there. Yeah, yeah. bro. And sometimes and, and, it'd be like a two, three hit. He'd be like, I'm looking at this again. All right, I'm going to look at it again. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, me personally, I wouldn't do that because I, I think it could get some of that stuff could be washed out, you know, but it, it has to be brief, though. That's the thing. Like that shit got to be there. But uh, it, when I say brief, though, it got to be written on. It got to be visible to the board members, yeah, yeah. you know, because you could say letter to the board as listed. And then, you know, the, the board members got to take a second and look at everything. But if you put in 40 fucking things up there and somebody saying letters to the board as listed, you know. Like, you know, um, so then let's go to um, other things. So then uh, you'll be pulling out like other things like uh, let's go to like best and, and fully qual, right? Because I'm still really talking about what I'm writing down as a, as a board member, what I'm writing down. So I, I already went over the letter to the board and field code 38. Is there anything else on that? Name? What, what is, what the, is the, the field code? What is that one? <laughs> That's, That's like the leadership. adverse information. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. To say adverse information. So if you look at the convening order, which we read every day to reset every day, right? Yeah, yeah. It'll it'll cover by history of assignments, adverse information. And it really is like, once again, there are no secrets. They're telling yeah, you no everything. It, yeah. it is transparent. For me, my biggest takeaway is I kind of had a restore faith in the process. No one, there's no smoke and mirrors. Yeah, everything is in, and I'm and I'm glad Aaron's saying all that stuff. Everything is in accordance with the precepts and the convening order. You know, and you read those. You we, we got those right there, and we read those every day. So what I started doing was for like my attributes that I would write on my on my PSRs. It would be straight based off the precepts. You know what I mean? So it'd be like the leadership. It'd be like everything that was listed on the precepts. I would list on to uh, my PSR because that's what we going off anyway. Um, and, and that makes it a lot easier when you pull in from these evals. Um, so I talked about the SBSO that show you how to use it. I talked about pulling a uh, different, uh, uh, pulling the um, fill code 38 and a letter to the board. Then after that, you really just digging through evals, man. You digging through evals and pulling quals and stuff like that. Now, before that, though, um, subject matter experts, they give briefs. Right. So mm -hmm. for instance, we started, so I did the, uh, I did EMs, MMs, and HTs, right? That's the group we did. So I was with EMs, MMs, HTs, majority of them master chiefs, a couple command master chiefs and a couple command uh, senior chiefs and stuff like that. Um, and then we had some three MCs. It's a, it's a very, very diverse group of, of, of leaders in there. Um, so before you start grading packages, the subject matter experts go up there and they go through best and fully qualified. I don't, did they do that? I'm sure they did the same thing with you, right, Aaron? Yeah, every every SME for that community is like resetting before you dive into that uh, subset. You said yeah. you're just kind of resetting the board. You're going to baseline everybody's knowledge. Yeah. On the ECP, you'll see like the platform, the callouts, and 
it's kind of like saying this is what this means. This is how this this qualification carries weight at this platform. Yeah. So, kind so of resetting everyone's based on knowledge. Yeah. So it's a deeper. It's like a deeper dive from the ladder. Right. So they going off the ladder, like everything that you need to be qualified. But then they like, hey, if you this on a tender, this on a tender is equal to this on here or this on an mm. LC or like RCO on an LCS is equal to EIO or something like that. So that's what the SMEs are doing is pulling from uh, the different community groups and, 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 and they going best and fully qual. So remember that, too. Right. They, they doing. And we did it like we broke it down two lists. This is your best qualified. I mean, no, this is your fully qualified. Like this, the the minimum requirements to like even be considered. And this is the people that's best would be like the people that's exceeding um, these qualifications or whatever, right? So every SME is different, right? Right? From each board or whatever the case. Is that already provided, that information? The, uh, uh, who the SME yeah, is? Well, no. The, when the SME go up there and he say, okay, your EI letter, the same thing as this on this and that. Is that information already provided or he already just know that from taking notes and just coming up there with that? Nah, bro. No, they read straight Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, I want to make sure. ECP, okay. the letter core, formerly the career letter, yeah, yeah. which is like there. Okay. Yeah, but it's like, it's it's a, so for instance, for us, like it, it went from the ladder and then like, it, we expanded it. Like it was like a brain trust of people having, and I don't know if that same thing happened with you, Aaron, but it was like, it, it was like, hey, don't forget about this. Don't forget about this. So it's like where you might see this, it's like this because I'm on an LCS and I know what's happening yeah. on an LCS or whatever like that. Yeah, so that's peace people. Yeah, yeah. Like I think they did a great job. Like you said, like it might be in the same rate, but an OS on crew Dez is not an OS on a, a carrier or Anthem. So by us, we're able to bounce off, you know, 23 years, you know, 19 years, different platforms, different short tours to really kind of like bring what's on the ECP to life. Talk yeah. about the qual in action, in mission, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So you, so you put everything you could put, so you go off of whatever the SMEs gave you. Um, like, I, like I said, I'm reiterating stuff. I'm repetitive a little bit for a reason. Um, then you put the letter to the board, you fill code 38 and all that stuff on there. So by the time you put everything out that eval that you could pull, you looking, we, we still looking for seller 360 involvement. We still looking for uh, involvement with your mess and all of that same stuff too. That's the basic stuff for everything, right? For every rate. Um, you put everything that you could put on those pieces of paper that you have to put them on. It's just the two, right? The PSR and the ASR. And then you got to grade the package. Me personally, I don't uh, like, this is just my own personal opinion. I don't see the purpose in grading the package. A lot of people do. I personally don't see the purpose in grading a package, but it, it, it provides an entering like, kind of like outlook on the package when you go in and you grade the package A through when we first did this, the way we were told Aaron was no pluses or plus pluses for the first mm -hmm. uh, ascension or whatever. It's just A through uh, F or whatever, right? Yeah. But once again, if you look at that board live videos, two videos on that second video, everything Donald was saying, you see it right there. So we're not violating. It's just, it's just common knowledge that Powers that be put out for everyone to know to have trust in the, in the process, full transparency. Yeah. So we graded the package. Uh, what, what's your thoughts on grading the packages? Do you you, you think it's necessary? I, I I like it. I mean, okay. <laughs> you know me. I'm coming with sports reference, man. I really felt like NFL draft night. <laughs> it's kind of like you're going through this grade of this person, and it kind of goes to to that confidence score. So it's kind of like say it kind of starts the dialogue of how the person had it. But then once yeah. again, everyone in that room is still going to use their best judgment with the information that's provided to them in their face and from the uh, the um, the briefer or the presenter. So yeah. for me, I like it, but it doesn't like absolve you from doing your due diligence and looking at everything from that person's record. Yeah. So you have to. So me. So me. Basically, I basically me. I think is no purpose to it. Right. I think if I get up there and say, hey, this package is A, and then everybody else get up there and pick that shit apart and be like, no, nah, it's not an A, it's an F. Like, <laughs> why the fuck did this matter? Anyway, that's just me. I know some people think it does matter because it could also get you 
an understanding of your briefer, right? But you don't, in my opinion, you don't want this motherfucker that always grade a package as an A, and then you're like, oh, this is the dude that's just way too like kind of like over easy with his packages. And you already know that going in and like, oh, this is probably not an A. So you have to have a I just don't think it's a purpose to the grade. You you everybody has to have a fair look at the package. And we were even actually asked that question, like, hey, like, um, what's y'all thoughts on the grade or whatever? I guess that's a question being asked now. Like, what's the thought on grade in the package? But I think a lot of people like that idea of grading the package or whatever. Um, so then you go into the tank, right? So you go into the tank. The tank for everybody that's, uh, what is it like? Is, is it two tanks, Aaron, or three tanks in that uh, building? Two. I saw, I saw two, two tanks. Two. Okay, so yeah. I saw two tanks. So everybody that's in there, every group, that, we were in there with the HMs. The HMs had a whole lot of people. Everybody <laughs> that's in there go to either of those tanks. So you got to get tank time. You know what I mean? So you got to be able to get in there when somebody not in there or whatever like that. So your group got to get in there or whatever. So you got to get tank time. So you go into the tank. Um, and it, it, depending on how many records you grade in, you know, that's however long you're in the tank. So you might... So the first time we went in the tank, it was just a couple of records, like 30 records or something because we did the uh, MMs first. Um, I, I forgot how many of them. I think like 400 and something. But we did like 30 records first just to kind of get a feel of the tank. Um, so then when you go into the tank, and if I missed anything yet, um, Aaron, please, um, you know, interfere or wherever. But uh, when you go into the tank, you brief your package, right? So I'm going to say, I'm going I'm to be straight. I'm a slow grader. I wasn't great in packages fast. I was probably the slowest grader in my group. Um, so some people get up there, they didn't grade it about 20 packages, you know, then some people you might only hear them brief like twice, three times in a session. But um, you'll go in there, you brief your package, you know, not for too long. You say, uh, A, uh, I, I graded this package and A, letter to the board as follows, fill code 30. So, you, so when you brief, you got to brief the letter to the board first. No, no. If it's a fill code field 38, code. Yep. yeah. If it's a fill code 38 there, you got to brief that first. If it's not there, it's letter to the board first. Right. So um, after that, you brief whatever it is that you had. Hey, the seller is best and fully qualified, hitting all the right, whatever, whatever, sustained superior performance, this, this, that. And then they, it's a thing that kind of show you that trend line and where they fall uh, with Riska and everything like that, how much they above Riska, hard breakout, soft breakout, stuff like that. Right. Like, and that, these are notes that we would have took and wrote. On the evals, you, you could jump in um, wherever oh, you yeah, want. Oh yeah, just for the we got a lot of acronyms. So for the cats that don't speak like straight Navy Navy eval, RISCA is a reporting seniors cumulative average. Yeah, and um, hard breakout is where they like. Let's say you in a department, you get ranked in a department or whatever. Your hard breakout is like you were number one of six in your department, right? Your soft breakout is if they kind of put you with everybody on a ship. Right. So then like you were like number five of like 70 or whatever. Right. I'm right, Aaron. Like I ain't wrong on yeah. that. Right. Or like soft breakout. Let's say you rotate before your periodic and, you know, you are staying peer performer or you were trending to go to the next tier. Mm -hmm. So if you get that one of one, people try to call it like the goodbye kiss that I one on one EP. But it's saying, hey, if they were here, ranks against their peers, they yeah. would have been my number one. Yes. Yes. They been in the top yeah. three. And that and that is that is yeah. very key, and that's stated so and it's written, written on an eval. Yeah, yeah, and it's like yeah, that is. It, people say it's your eval, but no, it's your commander officer's evaluation of you. So that's them talking to the board, saying, "Hey, this person is you know top notch or is a great performer, or a great technician." So it carries a lot of weight. Yeah, breakout statements matter a whole lot. Breakout statements matter a whole lot. Um, yeah, so you know, then, like, so you go through all that. You go through the ESR, PSR. You go through where they broke out at. You go through everything that you go through, and then people vote. It's a, a confidence vote, right? They do a confidence yeah. vote, right? Full and that's confidence all vote. All on that video, number two. I'm gonna keep saying it, that video really. They put it out there. It's on there. Yeah. So, so they do something called a full confidence. Oh, before you do anything, they brief you on how you're supposed to do everything, but. It's a fast brief, you know, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, it's a good brief. And you got a lot of repeat, you know, people that have been there already done a lot of them or whatever. Somebody had done every board this year that was there. So it's a lot of people that kind of know what they're doing. Um, 
So they brief you on how you're supposed to do everything like that, uh, what the crunch is and stuff like that. We get into that. So you do the full uh, confidence vote for, uh, for for your group. So And that's where you kind of see where people fall at, right? Um, so you got 100, 75, 50, 25 are zero. That's what different people could vote. In our group, it was like 17 of us. And then we had our uh, the OIC that was in our group. And we had a SEA that was in our group. So you got an officer in your group and an SEA. They not with us great in packages, but they with us when we go into the tank. Yeah, so, like um, voice of reason and, and, and keeping things going. If you got, you know, if they, if uh, you anchor on a record too long, they kind of help like, all right, let's keep the main thing, the main thing. And then maybe pull it back to dive into the record even more if it's yeah. needed. So they kind of keep it on track. Yeah. Yeah. So they, um, yeah, so we all vote. So that's how it kind of falls out. You can see how many people got whatever votes, how many people got whatever. If you get a very high confidence vote, with like one zero or whatever, which would be considered a no vote, they were asked to revote that that record because they think maybe somebody made a mistake and hit zero. So if it's like a ninety eight with like one no, it's like, hey, can we revote the record? Uh, they they ask that to the the uh, officer that's in there, and the officer normally say, yeah, go ahead and revote the record. Um, it's like, and we were in there with an admiral. Um, yeah, as admiral as well. Yeah, so they, they go uh, revote the record. Um, then we revote the record, and that's that. Um, then after that, you go back. You go back. You grade more records. You come back to. Did I miss anything about the tank? It's not rushed. Once you're in there, it's not like, hey, y'all gotta be in here for thirty minutes. Like, no. Once you in there, you're in there to thoroughly review, thoroughly talk. So, like how you said, how you brief. You know, you take your time. That's fine. Yeah. If you got someone who, you know, they got that quick battle rhythm, they got to get yeah. the gab, and they just know how to get to it. You still, it's not gonna make the review of that record any faster. It's still going to be thorough every yeah. time. Yeah. Everything so, is looked at. So I took my time grading. That's what I took my time doing was actually mm -hmm. grading. You know, griefing was, briefing was normal, you know, normal like everybody else. I um, was the same, man. I was looking at, like, you look at these evals, you were looking at a person's career life story. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So... You know, if a person looks at your first tour and you're second class, like, hey, I want to see, did you call out? Like, were you like maxed out with demonstrated performance? What would you do next? Oh, okay, you, you was out to see a lot. You're out to shore. Okay, just what did you do? You're just watching the entire life story. So you're trying to capture everything. So yeah, we, you take your time because you want that person to get the best shot. No yeah. one's in there trying to like get them out of here. No, it's like they made board they, they're in the playoffs. I want to see them win. I yeah. want to see them get to the championship. So I'm going to give yeah. them every chance. Yeah. Every so chance. yeah, so you pretty much repeat that process until you got all the uh, packages graded, right? You got all the packages graded now. And now it's time for the scattergram, right? It's time for the scattergram, for the first scattergram, right, Aaron? Yeah. Just looking, you got, you, got, right. you got your first hub records reviewed, briefed in the tank, voted on. And then when you got enough, of all those, then you got enough of a body of work to, to vote, see if they get yeah. selected or not. So this, this the scattergram is a list of numbers uh, between what, like a hundred from like a hundred all the way down to one, right? Yeah, zero, yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, so from a hundred all the way down to zero and then next to those numbers are the... The amount of people that got X amount of confidence scores. 10 people got yeah. 100. 97. You know, 86, 66, 68, all the way down. Yeah, so that's what that is. So you got from 100 down to zero, and then next to it is how many people had uh, those grades. And then that's when you finally find out how many we supposed to make. That's when they finally tell us Quota, um, how many, many yeah. like quotas, uh, you know, how many people we going to make. So that's, that's when the math start. And that's when for the first part, like I was kind of quiet because I never done this. So I'm watching a lot of people that never done it. They kind of sitting back trying to see how Same. this goes, what people thinking about the science behind it and all of that. Because pretty much what you're about to do now and after you scattergram. Now, remember, we graded every package. Every package got briefed. Every package got graded. But now when you scattergram, those like packages that got graded lower, they about to get out of there. You know what I mean? So that's pretty much what it is. They mean like it's gonna be like, hey, 
I vote to keep all the all the records uh, of a grade at uh, whatever line eighty four and up, and drop everything at I forgot the name of the line. Uh, they, it's oh, like it a name be a for line, the line, but just a, of, a, of a confidence score of you know. Oh yeah, so 50, then they say I vote to below drop. Like yeah. yeah, yeah. So hey. I drop every package. So I just want to make what sure, up? man. Every package is graded. You're taking notes. <laughs> Every, yeah, every package. Every package is every graded. Every package is graded and briefed. Before graded and briefed. the quotas come out. Yeah. Before we know the quota. Before you know the quota. Every package is graded so and briefed. I want to make yeah. sure everybody every, hear that. Every package yeah. is <laughs> graded before like, that you, quota. No one knows. They don't know that quota yet. So I want to make sure everybody understands that. You just, right. yeah, 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 yeah. We just focus straight. Don't worry about how many we make it. It's like, yo, yeah. is this person Good. Okay. best and fully qualified? That's yeah. all it yeah. is. Like, yeah. so, just, Establishing that, yeah. So, but now what we doing is we trying to crunch it to the quota, right? So you didn't, we didn't dropped everything with a confidence score of let's say fifty seven below, like Aaron was saying. So now we gonna take all the packages left back oh, for well, a second look. You also got the ones that had the crazy high confidence score where they might get tentatively selected. If you got like a emotional confidence score, the ones of 90 or above. That's kind of like your show. Oh, yeah, they fire. done. They're like tentatively yeah, they selected. Done. That's your that's your first round draft picks. You know, we got a good enough confidence score that they've been documented, they've not performed at the next level, they can succeed at the next pay grade. Now to talk about they they have convinced the panel of SMEs and, and the board president that, you know, they should be selected for chief yeah. technology. Yeah, they done they out there. So, so for for clarity, then let me clarify. It's like it's that scattergram. It's like two lines. It's the line. It's two lines and three quadrants, right? The very first scattergram. The first line is the people that's out of here, like 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 Aaron just said. Mm -hmm. Underneath that, that second quadrant, that's going to wind up being the people that we take their packages back to crunch. And then that third line is the people that's out of here, but out of here, and. A different way. They yeah. they they were uh, too low. And when you say so then crunch, that middle, it is like getting smashed yeah, down. And we look at the board line video. Down. You see the green. You see the red. And it's constantly yeah. just as like that. Because once yeah. again, giving those another shot again to the record. So yeah. So then we take those packages that was like that wasn't that was between fifty eight and. 89 or whatever it was, whatever that group was, we take those back and they get a second look by a second grader, right? It ain't the same. Yeah, fresh, it ain't the same person. fresh set of eyes. And once again, reset, reset the uh, criteria again. ECP, we go back. ECP, this is what is best and fully qualified. Mm. This is the platform. Yeah. This is this. So you constantly, you're not, because they, they do aggressive dares. We, I don't know what, they do a great job of trying to make sure that you're not just going through the motions. It's a constant reset of the mechanism, so to speak. Like you just constantly, this is what I'm looking for every day. This the ECP. This is a convenient order. So you're not going to go through a haze after record, you know, 800. You're constantly like mm -hmm. keyed up to look. Yeah. So then they, uh, you know, we go back into the tank again um, with the this group now that we crunched and then the, the, the people who, who uh, graded the packages for the second time, you know, so now up top at your top left corner, for instance, and those numbers, man, my number, it was hard to see, man. I had to, I had to make like a symbol so I could know which number was mine when I was briefing it. Cause it was close. It looked just like another number. So um, that second group now then uh, talks about how they graded the package on that second look though, they could do a plus a plus plus. Uh, B plus stuff like that, like they could change it, like because somebody might have graded this package a B, and you like I graded this package a B plus. I found uh this 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 that or whatever like that. I found um whatever they found, like and a lot of times. What up, Aaron? Yeah, I was gonna say just to what be up? clear, like I'm gonna cut you off, but a person gets the second look at that record, and that other person finds a qualification. The the banter back and forth was like, damn man, who are you? It's more like, all right, bet. I'm glad that we captured that benchmark qualification of that experience to give them another best shot 
full possible selection. Yeah. So it's not yeah. like bickering. Yeah. We're trying to make sure we yeah. get them every shot, look at every piece of paper, so to speak. Yeah. And then I, I, a lot of times, like me, I was going in there and that's when I'd be pulling out the CO statements, the, you know, this, this, that. Basically, you know, that's when you go in and you start pulling out information that wasn't, might have not been seen before. Maybe some strong statements that was written on the evals that the person uh, didn't really think they needed to put on there. But now we crunching, so we need to. So you go back again and you kind of go through that same process again, right? Um, at some point, depending on, and Aaron, Aaron is a little fresher in his mind than me and because and, and, he did the board after me. But at some point you get down to like, where it's like, it ain't that many more. You, you don't need to keep crunching. It's no, kind of like just, you just... You just put it up and it's like, look, you got, you have all the tools you need. You got the, the rose level of knowledge. You know what you're looking at. Put it up and just, you got to vote. And once again, back to the video, <laughs> they show that. You just pull it up and you just look at them. You got to vote. Let's go. So let's say you go down to three, right? And I might be skipping. Am I skipping anything, um, Aaron? So we 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 I mean, talked about in, full confidence. You graded full confidence. Um, sorry to say. Well, we can't talk about that. That's, that's discussion. But I mean, yeah, no they, discussion. I think you pretty much get anchor. And like you talked about the crunch. It's like, you know, this is tentative selected. These people, they have not met the criteria. And these people are in the middle. You know, they go back. Yeah, but, you, you know, at some point they'd be saying, like, let's go. We could go three for five. Uh, you, know, you know, so like, let's say when you get down to like you could get down to three packages, but you only. But it's only one left, like one quota left. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, that's On the straight. screen. Yeah, so that's then, like straight yes or no. Yeah. So then they throw the packages up on the screen uh, in the tank for a little bit. You look at the packages. You, you, it's, it's called a scroll. Right. That's what they call it. Right. The scroll. Mm -hmm. Right. Right, Aaron? They call yeah, it a scroll. Right, right. So they look at you look at the packages, um, and then they you look at them all. You look at package one, package two, package three, just to look. And then the next time when they scroll through, you vote yes or no uh for whoever. And then whoever makes it. You can only vote yes once. And right, Aaron? Yeah. Because, Somebody should have tried. Yeah, because so, once again, you've been briefed, it's been scrubbed so many times, so many the trained eyes on it, you got everything you need to make that that vote, that full confidence vote with full confidence. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, whoever get the most upvotes, you know, they, they kind of make it. Uh, I just want to say, like, some people think, people say, like, you get the guys like, yo, man, submit everything. It's people like, yo, man, send your eval, send, your, send your record. I've gotten both chains of thought. I've given that advice to people. Being, you know, I haven't been on that side of the fence now. Look, man, if it's there, you won't speak to it. You send it in. Because once again, the people that are, are grading, we're looking at everything. And it's not being petty. Like It's just really everyone's a first-round draft pick. Man. So you're just trying to yeah, make yeah. sure you grab everything. And if this person has this qualification with demonstrated performance, you know, and it's not captured over here with this other person as well, that person, you know, might lead to to the upcheck. You know what I mean? Yeah. And um my review of the process is, is it's a fair process. It's a fair process. It's fair. Like it's it's totally fair and it's totally like uh um and I had another word, I can't think of it. But um it's even all around the board, man. It's no way that Somebody, somebody with a biased intention or th or thought could could like influence that board or influence somebody uh, getting promoted to chief. You know, oath matters. It's no way that could happen. It's a yeah. oath. It's a oath. You know what I'm saying? Like all of us being in the game this long, unlike I said, being in the game serving this long, you take an oath. You're not going through the motions. You are taking that oath to heart. You know? Yeah. So I think they, yeah. they do a great job of of uh, keeping the main thing the main thing. Anyone who puts in to go be a recorder or be a board member, we're not doing it for a check in the box. You just, you, if you achieve in the mess, you, you own it. You just, it is your mess. You really want to see the right people selected to keep this thing going forward. Yeah. 
And now, um, I don't know about you, Aaron, but I, I got to give a pro and I got to give a con. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's just who I am. Uh, um, to anybody listening, I have to give a con, y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My con here is it's fair, but the human element could create flaws. Um, so people got to make sure that they going off the oath and things that Aaron is talking about because you can have somebody that's not pulling some of the meat out, you know, of a package. But again, like we said, it goes through that second look. You know what I mean? But a lot of the stuff that like people looking at, it don't have to be on them evals because it's it's right there. You know what I mean? It's it's uh it's your trend lines, your sustained superior performance, your uh the quals you got or whatever like that. But for me, that's the reason why I would say if you want it to be seen, put it in your letter to the board. Um because that novice that it's their first time that might not know um, what this qual is or whatever like that, that shit don't even matter because it's on your letter to the board and people can see it or whatever yeah. like that, right? When you, when um, you talked about the uh, like 22 enclosures, right? You know, we yeah. might say in just like, man, there's a whole Bible out here. We might say that, but then guess what? You were looking at every page of that top to bottom. And you're not compromising it. Um, I can speak from my experience when I was putting in for cheap. You know, people talk about uh, talking directly to the board as far as talking about, let's say your rate, you have a certain traditional seashore flow. And in the ECP, they talk about history of assignments and how we are not in control of our ultimate destiny as far as where we, go, where we get stationed at. Um, if you want to talk about it, you're talking to the board talk about it. Hey, I went yeah. back to back C because of this. Talk mm-hmm. about it. Hey, you know, on my ECP, it calls out, you know, this certain qualification. Well, guess what? At my platform, um, that qualification was not available to me because we were in a yard period. I couldn't go yep. TAD. You know, and this is all yeah. stuff. Once again, it's the information is out there on my Navy HR. Um, yeah. Prior board members, you know, they keep in the oath, the integrity, but whatever they can, what we can give, we're going to give. No one's keeping, you know, no one's gatekeeping, keeping secrets. Information is there. But, you know, talk to the board. That's my one advice. I think for me, for chief, me for seeing chief, I talked about my experience, the uniques in my seashore flow, why I got extended. You know, I'm not dodging the hard assignments. Talk to them. Don't get no four page letter, but speak to the point. You, you, you got know? a con? Do you have a con? I, it's, a, it's the same con you got. I agree. I okay. think when you talk about the human element, no process is perfect. I do believe that there are so many things put in place to remove as much of the human element right it. as possible, but you still do need the human element there. You know, Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't want AI selecting the next leaders of the Navy because you can give an AI the algorithm. Hey, what, what is, if you give some type of AI, somebody can make, Hey, what is a pinnacle DC? Right. You can ask Damon. All right, boom. I can tell you what makes real DC. They got this boom, 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 boom. That's the cheap. But then we might see that as a paper champ. Like, hold up, man. You got the qual. You got a designation letter, but, yeah. but it's not talking what they did with that. So yeah. no take impact. away as much of the human element. Yeah, impact. But then impact matters, yo. We still have to pick our replacements, some cases our future leaders, right? So it's a con, but maybe it's a needed con, you know? Mm-hmm. And then what's some of the things that you would like suggest to like people when they thinking about like writing their evals and stuff like that? What's some of the things you would suggest that they think about <clears throat> are submitting packages for like uh, next year? Well, I was talking to you about this. Like people just, the, the listing came up, so people hit you up. I told this person, it's not the company line, but you write your eval to the ECP, to the convening order. You capture those things. One thing I always look at on the convenient order is um, developer of talent. 
because when you're senior leadership, you're not graded, you're not advancing based off of what you do. It's what your team does for the mission. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So once again, it's it's going to sound cliche, but the information is there. Just you got this recipe to cook this meal. Cook the meal. You want to mm-hmm. put a little salt extra on the hot sauce? All right, fine. That's like you said, them call outs. You know, great sailor, great developer talent, top tone setter, boom, boom, boom. Eval, get to the point, right? Sailor, institutional expertise, talk about yourself a little bit. And then at the bottom, hey, this is why uh, this person was ranked out here and should be considered, or they got to be a must select, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah. So those breakouts, man, try to get those breakouts. Um, focus on your sustained superior performance. Um, focus on achieving the highest qualifications that you could get at whatever command that you're at. Focus on getting your highest qual. Like, don't miss any opportunities. Mm. Um, that's a big one for me, um, for anybody that's like, you know, hoping to make it or whatever like that. Don't miss any opportunities. Yeah. If something happens, like, you know, sellers that went through like things like COVID and stuff like that, um, try to hide, like Aaron already was saying, have that somewhere where somebody could see it when they grade in that package. The career summary letter. Oh, um, I definitely want to talk about that, bro. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about the career summary letter for a second. Um, I got two thoughts about it. So me being somebody that's great in a package, uh, my my first thought is that it's unnecessary as hell because um, everything that I see on your career summary letter, it don't really matter because I'm going to have to verify that as I go through your record, yep. right? So that's why I say it's unnecessary. Now, here's the other side of the coin, though. It kind of helps as a guy to go through your record because it gives me something to kind of look for. But again, like I said already, it's kind of useless because I'm going to go through your record anyway, no matter what you put on this career summary letter. What's your thoughts on it, Aaron? <laughs> Before, I was like, yo, man, stand on your record. It's there. You know, uh, field code 30, whatever, to 38. That's all I need in your enclosures. But like you yeah. said, my, my opinion, this is not what you have to do, but my opinion is if you're going to send in a career summary letter, make it worthwhile. To your point, if going back to the ECP, if it calls out something, if I look at a an ECP and it says considerations for E67, and something is in bold, and I decide to put in a career summary, I'm gonna say, hey, mm-hmm. you know, I got this qualification over here during my time at this tour on this eval. Now I'm gonna go look at the eval. I'm not just taking a career summary. Oh, you got it. No. Oh, okay, roadmap. I'm gonna look over here. All right, it is there. After record, you know, five million. All right, cool. It, it helped streamline um, what I'm looking for to capture best fully qualified. But you claim it on yeah. a career summary, it better be there. Yeah. And we all know what Damon thinks about this. You, you ever advise people about career summaries? Are you more like traditionalist? Like, yo, man, so your record, eval capture it, let it roll. Yeah, I never been on a on a career summary, man. I never I never been there. Uh never you know, put one in or anything like that. Um, but um, I'm also a believer in why not? You know what I mean? If you feel like it's important to you, like, you know, that they send this in, why not send it in, right? Um, like you said, things going to be captured. You know, you got to, you got to brief it. You got to do this. Um, so I'm kind of leaning towards that's your, this is your career type deal. You know what I mean? If you want to put it in, put it in. Um, but I also want to add something to some of the stuff you guys were saying, man, real quick. Uh, you guys talked about impact a little bit, right? To make sure you uh-huh. got that, that impact in there. And I just want to throw something else out there, man. We always talking about like anytime someone says anything about not making it or whatever the case to be, they always say like, Hey, make sure your email is written correctly. Right. Now you just hit uh-huh. up Aaron some stuff that, that, you know, to follow some guidelines to follow. So my question, hey, everybody don't know how to write these evals. It's a fact, right? <laughs> but it's also a lot of people out there that do. Find those yeah. people, man. You know what I mean? Find those, they there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ask questions. Um, people been, now you know people who went to the board and what they looking for, you know, ask the right questions, man. 
because we also know that hey, it's just not there. It's just <laughs> people. You could you do you, it like it, it says you got all these quals. Bam, 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 bam. But then when you read the Eva, you're like, what? It ain't speaking to it, right? Yeah, yeah. That, and, and that's yeah. what Evals that's what, could be stronger. Yeah, Evals can be stronger, yes, bro. Yes. I so mean, yeah, man. Important too. Yeah. You know, cats might like people writing the eval. They you may hear about soft kills, but other times they just put it in plain speak. You know, like I think my eval. I think if you're a recorder, you go there. I think your eval writing skills will improve because you might see something where it's like they're just telling you that this person is very good, but they are not ready to go up. People yeah. think a PE eval is a death sentence. It's not. It is not. I'm looking at some cheeks in my mess right now. Um, it's your full body of work. I'm looking at this guy, mm-hmm. Chief Select. He came here and, you know, did his check-in. He was very concerned about welcome aboard P. So his yeah. check-in with me, I was like, yo, man, like, your body of work is going to speak for itself. So you mean to tell me you've been this perennial performer through your, four, your last four commands, you come here, and you have to go through our eval system or your, your P, people just gonna look and anchor on this one eval and not take into account your impact that entire career. Mm-hmm. Nah, man. You know, put it in there. Hey, came here, hit the ground running. You know, some of these eval riders, man, they yeah. got, they probably, I think Donald probably a better eval rider because he got some bars, but, you know, <laughs> checked on I'm board. Okay. I think I'm okay. Hey, I, mean, I stole one. I'll say, what was it? Cat said, uh, Finish CO's check in, hit the deck plates moving, and got to work. I was like, okay, mm. boom, caught my eye. <laughs> yeah, and, got then, that eye. and then they got to the point, there was no BS in the write up. You know, it's gonna yeah. capture the attention, what you got, yeah. and then kind of like sealed it, like, yo, man, this person is it. If there's one quarter for EMC, <laughs> <laughs> make it, you know, EMC yeah. Tobias or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, some of those, some of those statements, fire, man. Yeah, like man. Pre- the, the cap, like CEOs in there, press a hundred now. Like this is undoubtedly you need him and your could, mess to make your mess stronger. Some, like, we got some nerds writing evals too, man. Yeah, they be killing this that. dude. Hey, so tactical Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is. I got, this I got is a Clark question Kent. for you. <laughs> Sorry, man, go I got a question for you, Aaron. Yeah. Um, do you think so? Other than the fact that you might have to submit. Uh, separate enclosures due to like time. Like you might not have everything you need at one time when you submit an enclosure. So let's say I submitted a 10, uh, well, submit your letter to the board. Let's, let's say I submitted, I submitted a letter to the board with like 10 enclosures, but then I got my EAL. So mm-hmm. now I got to submit another letter to the board with that EAL letter. Outside of that, do you think it's any reason to submit more than one letter to the board? So for instance, right, let me give you the example. Somebody might have 40 enclosures, so they think it's a better idea to submit four different uh, letters to the board with 10 enclosures, vice just submitting one letter to the board with 40 enclosures. Do you think it's a better way to do it or not? My opinion, I'm not going to say piggyback. I'm going to echo what Damon said, right? If you feel this is giving your best shot, you send it. Going back to my yeah. analogy, man, like when you make board, yeah, yeah, but that ain't what I'm asking, though. What do you mean? So that ain't what I'm asking. It so this is what I'm asking. Yeah. One letter to the board. So let's say I'm only submitting my letter to the board on this day or whatever, yeah. but I got 40 enclosures. Mm-hmm. No matter what, I'm gonna submit all 40 enclosures. Mm-hmm. But I think it's better to the panel to submit four different uh, letters to the board with 10 enclosures, vice submitting just one letter to the board with 40 enclosures. So are you saying oh, like, all right, so you're saying, okay, we back to like nav admin drops, timelines for submission, right? And let's say early in the game, before the deadline, way early for a deadline to submit your uh, package, you only have 10 things you want to submit. You submit that through, uh, was it ESBB, right? ESBB. And then you mm-hmm. fast forward three weeks later and then you get designation letters back and you got more things, you finish a degree or a PME or something, make that enclosure too and you send it. Is yeah. that what you're saying? Is better I mean, to like have different rounds or just accumulate everything in one shot? Damn, I'm kind of, I'm mad. That's a, that's a hard question that I'm asking because I know it's the way I'm wording it. 
I think that's a good way. I think that's the, me personally. I think that's the only time you really need to submit more than one letter to the board is if you get a wow. shit at different Damn. time. Like you didn't have everything when you submit it. But mm-hmm. what I'm saying is this. If you got 40 things you're going to submit, you might, in my opinion, you might as well just put it on one letter to the board instead of four different yeah. letters to the board because it's going to be put in that letter to the board block anyway, no matter how many things is on your letter to the board. A lot of people mm-hmm. submitted multiple letters to the board just on a strength that they thought it would be too overbearing if somebody saw a, le- a letter to the board with like 40 enclosures. So they like, I'm going to break this down uh-huh. uh, 10, 10, 10, and 10. Uh-huh. But it's the same shit. Like four letters to the board, basically four mm-hmm. letters to the board equals one letter to the board. It's still all of that shit is, is getting briefed at the same time. It's no separation when, when it's getting briefed. So you're not doing okay. nobody a favor by splitting your letter to the board. That's basically what I'm saying. I got you. You, ca- you catch it now? Or- yeah, I, I got you. I mean, I take it as I had everything. I had 40 enclosures. I had nothing to submit. Yeah. Right? Got it. Boom. I send it in like three days before the deadline. Right? And then all of a sudden, the last day of the deadline, I get like this... That ain't ball. what I'm saying. That ain't oh, what I'm so saying. saying just to, hey, That's I, like in that scenario, yeah, you got to do two letters oh, to the so board. You you a, have person, to. a person just saying, yo, I'm going to make it easier for a person by just sending four enclosures so they can like crunch down such a massive letter to the board yeah. rather than sending four. Like, nah, just, yeah. just, just send your whole send wow. one. And yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that was the question. Yeah, yeah, that was it. Yeah, yeah was send it. your whole wow. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Just I send mean, a people, whole wow. Yeah, people. <laughs> People think like, man, I gotta it's, hit this and I yeah. and ESB be my crash or I gotta snail mail it or whatever it is. Yeah, I get yeah. it. It's but. no difference. The only difference is now and I gotta click on another letter to the board and write another letter to the board into that fucking letter to the Maybe board you block. Put a disclaimer: I'm, These are the views and things of uh of uh you know Domino and Aaron Paul. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 just. <laughs> yeah, just submit one, yo. Just submit. In my opinion, like I said, though, in my opinion, just submit one letter to the board. If you, you know, unless we, like we said already, you have to because you get something again later or whatever like that. I mean, you should know so what for, you submit next, well, next cycle already. Yeah. Because the ECP is not going to change that much. Those communities, I got more, I got more education on the, uh, on the ECP doing this because it is like a living document. They, you know, they, the community managers are constantly scrubbing. You think about LCS, yeah. your favorite, right? They're going to talk about the <laughs> LCS. Like, hey, yeah. this is not a qual. Hey, that's on there? Hey, you know what? It's not really something that they was actually used. This needs to be yeah. updated. And they're going to update it. They literally take you as Milton. They're going to go down the hall, <laughs> talk to the community people, and they, they're going to you know, make sure it's the most accurate representation on the ECP of that platform for that person in that rate. Let me ask you another question. I think it's an easier question than my last question. I think I know how to word it way better, right? Uh, sustained superior performance versus EP. Which one do you uh, believe holds more weight? Again, it's just your opinion. Sustained superior performance. Yeah, me too. But, but whatever. Um, nah, I'll say sometimes, I think it's a different, different conversation. You might have someone who's been like mid- and then they just, the light bulb goes off and they get like this powerhouse um, EP from the previous uh, year. That might say like, yo, man, maybe the light bulb went off. But, you know, your fla- a flash in the pan is not going to carry the same weight as someone who's like just a perennial all-star. So, yeah. Yeah. Same spirit form. Yeah. Answer your question, SSP rather than EP. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, it's a whole lot of different ways you could go where EP would matter more. But I just think overall generic answer is SSP. Uh, another question. So, hey, again, and then for the people that's listening, even after we, you know, we do the board and everything like that, these things still got more legal scrubs to go through. It's two legal scrubs that uh, these uh, recommendations go through and stuff like that. Right. Um, and then we get outbriefed. We get outbriefed and uh, it's things that we're told that we can and can't say. they the things that I kind of talked about in the beginning of this episode. So that happens as well. Uh, my question to both of y'all is this. What's y'all thoughts on a five-year NJP window? And in that regard, do the charges matter? 
So if somebody's out of the five-year NJP window, right, um, and they had something from six years ago, and this don't got nothing to do with the board. I don't want nobody to think we still talk about selecting chiefs. Um, do those charges weigh heavy on you, or is it, hey, they out the window, they out the window? Well, for me... I guess we are still talking about <laughs> selected we, we chiefs. I guess we got to kind of... <laughs> yeah, if we, talk, if we talk about like the board, I, I, yeah. if they're going against people, right, I guess it ha- if it's within that five-year window, I guess you have to look at it. You know what I mean? You got to be it's like, out okay... out of the five-year window. If six years, well, when six I say years window, ago. Six like, years ago. Like, six years ago, a long time, man. So, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, yeah. I, I, got, uh, I got something for this for, for uh, sure. Uh, 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 a lot of shit that changed in six years. Now, I'll be straight up. You know what I mean? People make mistakes all the time. So, you got to you gotta take that into consideration. But I do also think that Shit, bro, that's tough right there. Um, being that long, man. If it was inside of a of the window, I may have a different thought process. Six years, I don't know, man. Yeah. Um, because uh, one of the big things we kind of preach is not a zero deficiency navy. So you can't just like that's one of the things that you know our president made sure that everybody understood. This is not a zero defect navy. Yeah, you know, so people that made mistakes, people that fell PRTs in the past, things like that. Yeah. This does not mean that they cannot be achieved. My only, my only question about the six-year window, it got to do with like, for y'all, it's like, you know, it, what if it don't matter, but then you find out what the fuck the person did and then you like, oh shit, like, yeah. nah, I don't think they should I ever mean, be achieved. You, my take is, I, first of all, backtrack, going back to the, uh, the convener order. They talk about adverse information. When you read it, yeah, it talks about what constitutes a full recovery or a bounce back, right? Yeah. People talk about the five-year myth or the five-year penalty box. There is no designated five-year penalty box. If someone, yeah, yeah, it's not, yeah, yeah if someone went to mass and was awarded something, a punishment, they took their hit three years ago, and then since then. They've been sailor of the year. More importantly, um, their sailors have been meritorious advance, SOQs, and they've done all this great stuff. You mean you're telling me that, hey, well, it ain't been five years, so they dead out here. Not the case. Yeah. Like you said, that boy president, like, they over there saving, the, winning the war. Like, nah, yeah. man. Um, you just need... In any other- yeah. Um, any other thought process would be adding a human element in there, in my opinion. Yeah. The human element then would be making decisions. When you start being like, oh, what was the charges? What was the yeah. crime? You I know? mean, you need like the character. Human. You're not going to... What's that movie, man? Um, Double Jeopardy? Blood and Blood Out? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was thinking about like, them Double Jeopardy joints. So what's the one with uh, Gerard Butler and Jamie Foxx? Law by the Citizen. Yeah, like, I mean... No, like, it's so funny that it's like that was on the tip of my tongue because somebody brought that shit up at Chow like two days ago and I did not remember the name of it. So like, right, nice. I, and I was going right. through eating the whole time like, yo, I'm not going to be right if I don't remember. But yeah, back to what you yeah, were saying. I mean, it's a full, a full recovery. You're doing your, your work, man. You, you're giving yourself a best shot. Now, you know, you see everything. You might see something that is a major character flaw that you can't yeah. ignore. You know, yeah. Like going back to the AI thing, if selection was strictly based off an algorithm, an algorithm they can't catch that. Hey man, person yeah. person went to mass for uh for illegal gun running mm-hmm. in Mexico. Like, yeah. Is that really a person that needs to be in the chief's mess with that level of, of trust? You know what? Maybe they should continue to be a great servant first class. Mm, okay. <laughs> well yeah, hey, That's you guys bring up view. Yeah. Hey, Aaron, you bring up a good point about the five-year thing, man, because I I probably talked about this before on the pod, too, though. Um, so somebody asked me a question, like, hey, how did you feel about um, uh, when I was a non-select or whatever? How, what was my process and how did I, whatever, right? And my, my answer was, I didn't feel anything because I knew the answer. I knew I wasn't going to make it, right? Because I had went to Captain Mass, right? It's like you said, I, so I went in 2009 so in 2010, like I knew I was, my whole thought process of that building up that five year thing, because people always talk about five yeah. years, you ain't going to make it fire. So I wasn't even thinking about, it wasn't even a thought yeah. process. I mean, I'm, 
I'm continuing my day the next day. You know what I mean? Did you make it within five years? No, I made it in 2011. I made it the next year, 2011. So I I didn't wait five years either. So it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't five years. No, it wasn't five years. Um, But at the same time, man, like that five year thing's out the window. Um, And bouncing back, though, I did have a, I feel like I did have a bounce back. You know what I mean? Um, Because I was a DC one at the time and I got an EI letter under the same person. So that's kind of like, I felt like it was a bounce. Well, I felt like it was a bounce back anyway. I'm not trying to make this about me, <laughs> dumb Marcy. No, no, I'm laughing. No, no, like that's why I'm laughing. It better be a bounce back for the for the young seller that for the young first class that <laughs> fucked up. You better, you better, you better put you better put your head down and get every call. Hey, with that OD, I need that OD, man. Like, <laughs> I was thinking about it, bro. I like, was. You oh. <laughs> hey, I do want to say something about. Um, I don't know it was on topic, but second class evals. I think mm. I don't know episode y'all might have been talking about. Y'all was talking with D Gus about the about eval writing and you know like yeah. all, all, all evals matter. I don't know, but a second class eval, people are making r- rank at a faster clip. You know, like yeah. you know, yep. Damon, you and me, we be older than you know. We, we've been around at least four revolutions, right? Like cats are making it six, seven, eight years quick, fast with confidence, right? So these second class evals. When you first tour, you got to grind. You need to make sure that before you transfer, you attain every qualification that is available to you. You get proficient and, and proficient with that because yeah, you might not get another chance at getting a benchmark qualification mm. at your next tour. You know. Yep. And we're looking at once again. We're looking at the we're looking at the entire record. That's last everything, three. Everything, yo. Yeah. So yeah. someone everything. looks at the second cousin. Yo, man, this person. Was performing at you know at EM two point five when in the second class it was SOI like for real so yeah, yeah. they might have went and did some out of rate tour but they are fundamentally sound they they got yeah. they got their rate on lock if they make cheap yep. and then they go back into the back into the mud to the thick of it they're gonna perform they're not gonna have their first class or their second class stump the chump as a new chief because yep. we all know yeah, the chief right. don't know it I was that chief who Second class might have had me, but I still have my fundamentals in certain areas. So you got to think about that. Second class evals, your performance, it matters. And yeah, it, you're right. All, yeah. yeah. Go ahead, Demo. Out of the records I looked at, out of the records I looked at, and on average, I probably saw more second class evals than first class evals, like per seller, because they were second classes longer than a lot of a lot of sellers, especially the EMs holding it down, man, getting quals, knocking things out. You know what I mean? The EMs killing it, man. I saw that face you made, Aaron, man. That ain't, oh, nah. that ain't cool. Man. Can I just spell a rumor too? <laughs> that ain't cool. Like, man. there's no age requirement to be a chief. Yeah, you gotta be 30. No, you got 28. <laughs> No. Yeah, can we talk about awards if we can? Uh, I'm gonna it's take review. This, the it's, shit out. So I mean, it's on there, right? I mean, well, I mean, it's a body of work, right? I was LPO. Eva captured it, and then you look at the joint, and huh, all award writers aren't the same either. Some awards, yeah. I realize, like, okay, like I really see this person's impact on the mission. Another one is like, hey, great job. Here's your participation now. The freaking NAM cannon was going off on some of these cats, man. You know, yeah. How you got 13 NAMs? You've been in five years. I ain't get my first <laughs> old. I ain't get my first dance. I was in 11 years and I was a mid tour. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the, yeah, y'all, NAM warriors. The NAM cannon hey, going y'all. off, man. Yeah, I got a lot of NAM cannon be going off him, too. NAM cannon, boy. Hey, back in the day, though, recruiters NAM used to be warriors. the NAM cannon used to go off with recruiters, man. Back in the day, recruiter coming in as a first class. Like, God damn, son. Were you, were you a power recruiter, Damon? No, I'm not a recruiter. No, but I know they, they man, I didn't see some come to my command. Hey, they shit uh, loaded. I learned Damon what, don't I, got that much seat time. I man. learned what a six Damon. shooter is. What's six a shooter? six shooter? A six shooter for recruiting is like you put like six people in, it's like a six shooter. Well, yeah. <laughs> like at the same time. <laughs> yeah, because I'm looking, once again, like I, when I came back, I had some, you know, some guys who prior uh, recruiters in my, uh, my mess. I was like, hey, man, you ever had that six shooter? I was like, oh, yeah, man. I was, in, I was in the game. I was getting 
You know, Punisher? Yeah. Like, what's up, man? Like, they had their, yeah, the gold shit. reefs. Gold yeah. reefs and all that shit. Reefs. I'm like, gold reefs, like, what is it? Should have sound like man? Call of Duty, man. Yeah, what is this? The game was cool. Nah, man, that's legit. Like, they grinding, man. They, they, they building the fleet. I'm like, okay, all right, cool. You know? Yeah. Hey, ba- uh, Aaron said something earlier, man, about the... Uh, about the E5s, man. You guys were talking real quick about it. And I wanted to bring up, man, these guys being E5s, man, you go to shore, dude, you come back, it's, you possibly could be a chief. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? So your grinding yeah. that you was talking about, man, it's like so real. You have to grind. Yeah. You know what I mean? You have to. That's a big to. deal, bro. Yeah. Have to. I saw I saw third class evals, bro. Ooh. I saw third class evals. Damn. You know what I'm saying? I saw a third second class, class and I went back to look LPO. at them. Second class LPO. Yeah. Like, yeah. Second class uh, general LPO. No, you yeah. LPO. That's primary duty. Like I'm going to. Yeah, Mug might have. Mug might have got a call on some ship as a third that m- could be considered. You know what I mean? That's so called down the ECP. Like, yeah, it ain't like what have yeah. you done for us lately type type vibes, man. It's a lot, man. I think we I think we hit it all. What did we miss, Aaron? Yeah. I don't know. Did we ain't, miss anything? No, I, miss I got a question for you. I got I got questions now. You ain't What's missed up? Talk to us. But I got the question that 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 the world want to know, man. For you guys, man. That's the world want to know. Here it come. Feedback, uh-huh. man. Feedback. Oh, Everybody's feedback? talking about feedback. How can they get feedback? Um, it, it seems <laughs> like they want individual feedback. Individual yeah. feedback. So how you guys stood the board? You guys uh-huh. was there. How is it possible to give feedback to every non select? I've got a new answer for this, but fresh pair of eyes. Well, I, I, I'll defer to uh, the Damo. Yeah, I was, I was, I was trying to defer to you, man. Right, so you I'm, know, I'm, I'm the guest. That. I'm the guest. So for me, <laughs> yeah, yeah, go ahead. Before I was like, "Yo, man, you need to break out. You need to get, uh, you know, hey, you fell out here. You were like, you missed the top third. I don't believe in that after going through the process. Um, to me, y'all bear with me with this damn sports analogy. It's a new season. A new season starts after mm. the Nav Admin drops with Select, right? Um, the Golden State Warriors are, are like a playoff championship level team every season, right? But they still have to win the season, win the playoffs win the conference finals, and then win the championship. So back to sustained spirit performance, SSP, what you did last season, right, is not going to make you win this season. I think a debrief might sometimes, some feedback might be like, it might cause some people to rest on their laurels, right? There's no secrecy. You know, the powers that be have given everything to, to show you how to make yourself compete, how to accurately scrub your record, all of that. It is just you. The main thing is you doing your job and taking your people along for the ride and keeping, you know, your divo honest and giving them feedback, letting them lead. It's a new season every time. So the feedback yeah. is, hey, I wasn't selected. It's not you weren't good enough. It's like, hey, it really is that it really is these top performers competing for the quotas. So for me, you yeah. know, long, long answer for this question, the feedback is, hey, I wasn't selected. I'm going to get back to the grind, do my job, and use the tools that are there for me. I didn't feel that way, mm-hmm. you know, before I went. Now I, yeah. I have a different feeling on it. Yeah. Remember when T.I. did that song with Andre 3000, Sorry? And they asked T.I. about it. And he was like, yo, he bodied me on my old, on my old <laughs> song. That's how I felt like Aaron had bodied me on this episode. <laughs> like Aaron is bodying me oh, on this yeah, episode. Feel like, like, who was it? Yeah, you know, this you know, like three stacks of Buster Rhymes being the guest. All this on the posse cut. They, bodying they, me they on don't this let them go last. <laughs> no. Yeah. Hey, Damon, was that what you was no, talking about? No, that's exactly, man. That's exactly. Because okay. uh, it's a lot of, a lot of people. We know we talk about feedback. feedback. Me and Dumbo, we always talk about give some feedback. You know, anything we do in the Navy right now, this is one of the processes that we really don't, you know, straight up go to somebody individually and say, hey, this way, that we don't get feedback from. We get feedback from it though, but I'm talking like, I mean feedback like talking to a sailor, 
about their performance and what they did, specifically them. Um, so, yeah. but no, so what you, you said, want me to though, answer too? Huh? You want me to answer too? Are you cool? No, no, I'm Aaron cool. Aaron killed me. Oh, okay. He killed me. I, mean, exactly I had what some I'm, more to it. So no, you don't no, give no, a fuck no, what I got to say. But the more you can say what you have to say, but I'm, you know, I just didn't want to hear, hey, hey. Hey, Devo, <laughs> I just didn't want to hear that you, you was about to say, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to piggyback off what Aaron said. I would never do that. Come on, dog. Come on, don't do me like that. Do I don't say like piggyback. That, I say echo. Hey, I'm an echo. Echo. Yeah, yeah, echo. 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 I'm an echo. No. I don't say piggyback but anymore. I, yeah, honestly, man, it's the same thing Aaron just said, dog. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, like a, it's a, it, it actually is though, honestly. So you're right, That's Damon. It. But like, I, I spoke about in, in the beginning of the episode when I was saying like I'm not harping on the past. I don't care. I don't. This might sound harsh, but I don't care about last year. I don't care about the past. Yeah. Let's talk about positioning you for this year. Let's talk about doing all the shit that you didn't do last year. Let's talk about getting you here. A lot of people want to do shit and, and, and get shit, but then it's things they don't want to do in order to get it. Oh, no, I ain't doing that. I ain't comfortable with this. Ain't like, yo, you might have to get a little uncomfortable to get what it is that you need to get. So it's like, for me, I'm not, we not about to harp on why you ain't make it. Yeah. 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 Day one, let's talk about what you need to do. You need, Let's get this, let's get this, let's get this. Yeah, and got, in this conversation, yeah, and in this conversation, it's not a definitive, like, end, end of this year, it's not definitive that that's going to get you in a mess. You're working to, like, m- my thought with, like, sustained superior performance is that you always working toward whatever it is that your goals are. Not like, hey, by next year, you're going to be, some people, it's not a next year thing. It's a, A, this might take two to three years before you get up in here, but let's stay on a path and let's not veer off the course. You, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it ain't a next year. Like people do that too. Like it's a short term thing. Sometimes it's not next year. It could be the year after the year after. So that's kind of like my, my, my take on that. Um, yeah. Hey, that, hey, that was recommendation. Good. Okay, bro. Oh, yeah, that, that was good, man. Um, I got this one more thing, man, I wanted to add to, man. <laughs> is that everybody can't make it, bro. Every single mm. four, you have 400 people that's eligible. 400 is not going to make it. I just want to be real, man. 400 is not going to make it, man. I just want to say that and put that out there, man, because sometimes I, I, I feel like that's what, what we people think, man, like 400 going to make it. I wanted to go all the way back to the beginning when y'all talked about like uh, for the non-selects, right? Um, I want to give a shout out to my, my XO and my CO. So, you know, we, we the results came out. He went out there, congratulated people. Um, he gave them two days, right? We talked about it. He asked for recommendation. And I got a small command. We got like, 150 people at the squadron, right? Um, you know, CEO Skip was like, hey, I want to talk to them. You know, I want them to come in. So it was CEO, XO, me, you know, the non-selects, and the chiefs is in there, right? Sat in his office, and he let them talk. He said, hey, so look, like, I just want to see where you're at. I'm not going to give you a lecture. I'm not going to say what I went through with you. Like, how do you feel right now? And he sat there and listened. Like, what you said, Adamo, like, he's listened. And then he's like, all right, what can I actually put into action for you? You know, what narrative needs to be captured? He, he knew, he knew, hey, are you actually meeting the wickets on, on your ECP with your career? Like, you know, let's make sure for your eval as you go forward, I'm doing right by you as I evaluate you. You know, I don't, I don't know, if, I don't know, if, I, don't, I can't imagine a carrier CO doing that, right? But imagine if a destroyer, CO did that. Like, hey, yeah. I want to see how many, how many boys that didn't make it. We have five. All right, got it. Whether this this month, two months from now, six months from now, I'm going to have a time where I sit down with them and talk to them about that. Unless it's, you know, outside of like a regular or midterm or something like that. But I, I really thought that we he, he met the moment doing that. Bringing them in. I see you as yeah. a person. What can I do with an actionable item? To help you go forward, yeah, I like and, that, and, and, and 
And it's one thing, well, it's one thing I'm going to say real quick, then it's another thing I'm going to say, and then we can finish whenever. Uh, I'm going to say this. Hey, uh, for like, if you're a first time listener, we got another host, right? Her name, Tish. She said she was going to jump in at some point in this episode. We like two hours in, Tish ain't here yet, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So Tish ain't showed up yet. Yeah. You know, you know like, I'm not forgetting, if, world. I'm not forgetting that. If, if Tish show up now, it's going to be super late. So one of the things I, I wanted to say was this. I think that we need to start celebrating people more for the journey that they take and for the things that they do on a pathway to whatever it is the the victory point is. Um, I say that because a whole lot of reasons, right? So for instance, like, like from now on, I'm not, I'm, I'm throwing parties for people before they graduate. You know, I'm throwing parties for people for finishing school, not for graduating. You know what I mean? But I, 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 another reason why I, I relate that to what we talk about now is because for the people that kind of get like, like that feel like they didn't make it, they, they kind of use like terms like I got looked over, I got passed over um, and shit like that. When you were among the best, you know, if you made bored, you were among the group of people that was the best at that time and that rank, you know? And then there's a whole lot of structural things that happen that kind of make the deciding factor happen as quotas, as things like that. But different percentages mean different quotas, different things like that or whatever. But that don't mean that you you suck. That don't mean you garbage. That don't mean you trash or whatever like that. Don't stay hard on yourself and down on yourself for too long because you're a leader. Get the fuck back up and lead again. Start leading. Get back to leading. Get back to doing what you did. Don't let not being selected discourage you from what your gifts and your talent and what makes you a lead is. Because again, that cap, that thing that you're looking for, that thing that you you want real bad, that's like the pinnacle of all your work. That's the culmination of all your work. All your work still is great and that shit still needs to be celebrated. You know what I'm saying? So in my opinion for y'all, keep fucking leading. Keep doing your thing. Take your time. Take your day or two, whatever you need, you know, to feel how you feel, but get back on that damn horse and, you know, get going again. You know what I mean? That's my thoughts on that. Yeah. Thanks. Hey, man, I just want to add, man. Hey, thank you two guys for coming on, man, and talking about this, man. This is crazy. Uh, I know a lot of people out there that's, that's having conversations on how to process gold and all this type of stuff and, and all this, man. But you guys did a hell of a job explaining that shit, man. Um, I hope so. In a, in, in a way that, you know, you can understand. I know I learned a lot by just listening to you guys today. So, yeah. hey, for anybody who got any more questions or anything about any of this board stuff, man, hey. Hit Dumbo up, man. Hit Aaron up, man. They they they, <laughs> they here for you guys. Man. So much. Hit us up. Can Open I, line. Hold up. Oh I, I got I got to put some out. So go ahead, man. <laughs> so the way I knew that the membership listing was published is because my DMs blew up, <laughs> and I'm just gonna I'm gonna date myself, age myself. I've been married since, faithfully married, happily married since 2005. The mm. pre-jumping in DMs era. Okay? Yeah. I ain't an ugly dude, but I'm not Idris Elba or whatever cute, light-skinned dude. Hey, I'm not used to that. You know what I'm saying? So my DM blew up. My wife was like, why are your phone buzzing so much? I'm like, uh, uh, uh. some cats put you on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, hey, I was like, hey, babe, look, um, membership came out and people are using the resources. The membership was yeah. po- posted, they're reaching out and they're getting the feedback and they're taking charge of their career. So I'm going to answer. There's two cats. One cat was on the Mason. I ain't going to say him. He's a first class. He's the first one. Hit it. Respectful and put all his info. I was like, all right, I got to get back to him. I said, hey, just hit me up on the global, put a good subject line, and then, you know, I'll, I'll give you some feedback, what I think that's not gospel that might not be relevant for next mm-hmm. season, but just go forward. So just, you know, be me, be Adamo or these other board members, man, we got families and just judiciously <laughs> DM people because you might get some cats yeah. hemmed up like on some Peter Gunn stuff or something, man. Like, I don't... Yeah, man. Yeah. Because yeah. you know me, Adamo's <laughs> sporty with his wares. He... 
that feeling in them. You know what I mean? So be the guys, man. <laughs> I'm just trying know. to tell you because I was there before. You know, I was there. I was there. You know, like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, get get your answers. <laughs> be the guys for your cheaters. Get your answers. Hey, I, I want to say, um, yeah, reach out. You know what I'm saying? Reach out. Just know. Um, my schedule is not the greatest, you know, from being on a ship. And then I'm trying to always trying to chase Damon down so he could be on an episode of the pod. Man, it's hard to lock Damon in nowadays, man. You know what I'm saying? So that uh, um, that mass sheet float, that mass sheet float, man. (laughs) Yeah. Hey, (laughs) hey, next week, look, next week, man, I got to come on here, man. And I got to talk about how I bought my division. Is it illegal to buy your division lunch? I got all these. You good. Yeah, okay. so uh yeah, so I gotta talk about how I bought my division lunch on a carrier. Yeah, you and broke, totally huh? like Oh bro, that's a big ass yeah. Oh, I thought about that for a second, bro. <laughs> you not know the DDK, bro. <laughs> Shit. Bro, yeah, you better get him a box I did of not know. to keep moving. Bro, yeah. we got we got cane I got them canes too. I did not know, man. Woo. I did not know. Big, I, did not, uh, big, I ain't gonna talk too much about hang, it. Man. Yeah, man. I did not know. I got that S step though, baby. Got yeah, that S-dip. yo. <laughs> got that S step. Hey, come in, come in. They would have got that food. lunch without that S step, man. Uh, I think, I think uh, CMC uh, should get the apartment pay. Let's get it. Yeah, hey, let's go. Hey, hey, that's a fact Aaron, right there, bro. Um, Thanks, man. You redeemed yourself this episode. Yeah, bro. last time oh, man, you came with him. This is the Audacious Black Girl Podcast, <laughs> Mike. This is yeah. her headphones. <laughs> you know. You saw her. She was being like an IT. She's like, all right, bro. You good. Yeah, she hooked it up for you. Yeah, thank she God. She hooked it up for you. This, this Amanda coming through in the clutch. Hey. Um, yeah, this is definitely an important <laughs> episode. Hey, uh, love y'all. See y'all hopefully next week with another episode of Permission Speak Freely podcast. Mississippi stand thank up. You.